Derby Rain hit are causing us a few problems on the network at the moment. Uh, our reactive workload is uh, 98% up on what we'd normally expect, uh, and we're, we're, we're experiencing a high number of uh, flooding calls. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we often find many of these calls when we actually arrive on site. Uh, it's not our issue to resolve, uh, it's just highway flooding. We, we are also uh, up against it in terms of uh, a number of our sewers, surface water sewers in particular. They will discharge to local water courses, rivers, etc. And many of those are in state at the moment due to the significant uh, amounts of rainfall that have fallen on the uplands over the past few days. And most rivers across the region will be will be uh, will, will be full. And uh, the environment agency have posted a number of flood warnings across the region. We're, we're experiencing uh, a, a wide range of jobs, uh, all the types of jobs we do normally, uh, ranging from uh, pollution incidents, uh, internal flooding, external flooding, oh, right. and, and just common garden blockages that haven't manifested themselves as flooding at the moment. Mm. Uh, and we're, we're, we're applying our normal uh, prioritisation to, to those jobs, so the the, the pollutions, uh, flooders, and imminent flooders, you know, being higher priority to common garden blockage or odour issues that have been reported. Yeah. When we have a uh, high work volume such as we're currently experiencing, and indeed uh, I expect to continue to to pick up uh, because we've got more rain forecast later uh, in the week, it would really help if people uh, treated their drainage systems in a responsible manner uh, and by that I mean avoiding discharging fat bowls and greases, use cooking oil, food debris down the kitchen sink etc and also to only flush material that is truly flushable so uh, it helps if people avoided the use of uh, wet wipes, makeup wipes etc in terms of it's okay to use them but put them in the bin, don't put them down the loop.